What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. We are in my home state of sunny South Florida. And before I get into what we're doing, I gotta give a huge shout out to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. For those of y'all that don't know, that's my six year old Luke. This is our buddy's son Maverick, his daughter Tara. And we're out here in a ditch playing right now. Whoa, 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 son, you about hooked me. This ditch leads down there to a set of culverts and in that deep pocket right there, it's slap full of gars, mud fish, you name it, it's in there. And actually Jake just caught a real nice bass. Luke, what are you doing? I see like bubbles in the water. I'm gonna like dig down and get into like the dirt to see what's that. You know what those bubbles are? What? Crab farts. By now I'm sure y'all are wondering what the heck we're doing. I just brought y'all along on a typical weekend when we're at home, we're not out traveling. We come to this awesome ranch, which is actually Mr. Travis's private deer hunting lease. We're gonna do all kinds of crazy stuff, but the thing that we came to do the most, there's a big reservoir full of giant largemouth bass, and we're gonna let all these kids fish like crazy and possibly even turkey hunt and maybe even kill a hog. And y'all are right here with us tagging along. Now, if I've ever had a chance to show y'all what a true South Floridian looks like, I'm about to show you right now. Come here, Maverick. Let me show the world what a true South Florida boy looks like. Y'all look at that. What was that, leave it to Beaver? That's right there, son. Super tan, no shoes, Wrangler jeans, and a ball cap. Now he's gonna go hide behind his mama, look at him. That's Mr. Travis, his wife, Laura. Where is, where? She's still fishing? These girls here like to fish. So we're gonna actually head back to camp, cool off for a little bit, and as the sun starts to get lower in the sky, we're gonna go to the reservoir and hopefully rip some big lips. And she wants to kill a big gobbler turkey. And she's like a typical woman, hard-headed, wants to do it all on her own, only call it in, no help. Yep. What do you think? We were sitting here and I thought that was the reservoir, but I still caught that big bass, so now I'm excited because we're going to that reservoir. Yeah. They're gonna be How do you like those bass. new sunglasses? They are nice. Who got those for you? Well, I spent the, uh, the $175 Bass Pro gift cards for, from Christmas. You were supposed to give that to me. I still got fifty dollars in my grandma's house. Good. All right, let's roll. Y'all know how hot the top of that dog box is, and he's standing on it barefooted. I'm telling you, that's South Florida right there. Now, one of the most common misconceptions of Florida is were beaches and cities. Here's a fun fact. Florida is, I think, top three or four cattle producers. This place, we have so many cows, it's insane here. And the ranch that we're on right now, if I was to put my drone up, which I'm gonna do it in a minute, you can't see a building, a gas station, nothing for miles. I think the closest store to us is probably right at 20 miles. Just barren, open, natural land full of cows, hogs, and all the wildlife we have. That's something I really never touch on on this channel, is just what Florida really has to offer besides good fishing and good hunting. It's, we have land, lots of open land. to get me some of them on here. The bad thing is with everything being in the shortage, like it is with this whole COVID crap we've been dealing with, I can't even get one for my new side-by-side -side yet. So I'm gonna have to be patient, which I'm not very good at. So right now I'm gonna put my drone in the air and from their awesome little camp right here, I'm gonna show you just how far out in the middle of nowhere we actually are.
it is so hot out here the kids have been playing football we got all the tackle loaded up all the rods loaded up i'm gonna walk over here though because i don't know if i'll be back to camp before dark and i want to show you this awesome little camp we're staying in just a little teeny hunting cabin that's luke's bed so he can't escape got him a little rod rack look at the oak tree leaves though big beautiful oak hammock with the gray mossy moss whatever you call it i guess tundra's getting dirty right now though i'm super super excited to go fish this reservoir i've seen a lot of pictures of the fish that come out of it i'm ready to catch one look at the dirt on this kid though look at all the dirt look let me see your feet come on tara stick yours out here look at them those are venus feet right there you got a dirt mustache y'all ready to go catch fish yes sir jake you look like you're super hot no can i drive sir no you can't drive you're not 16. I what is the drive. dirt all over your nose i can drive all right we'll see y'all there we've got about a three mile ride through the woods that way we'll be ripping lips they weren't kidding when they said this place was a long ways in the back we've been driving for 15 minutes straight Ooh, what's this Big alligator just went down. The water used to be so high that it would go in. Yeah, it was going to in those things. Huh. To say I'm excited to fish that awesome looking reservoir would be an understatement. Obviously all the kids are already fishing before old dad even gets a chance to get his rod, but that's just life. Let me see what you're throwing, Jake. Old speed worm. Look at this fancy favorite rod he's got, the Defender. In God we trust. With some Beyond Braid. What you got? I'm fishing with our lizard. Oh, that's another favorite. I haven't actually seen that rod. Look down here though, Paige is getting fancy with her new bait caster I got her. This is the favorite hex rod with a solace. All of them are throwing soft plastics. I'm about to throw a spook. A Zara spook to be exact. Where's it at? Right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me tell y'all what I'm about to do with this. Let's see what we can do down here. Now, whoa, they told me this reservoir is full of huge gators. See, I already know I'm gonna wade off in it. I gotta get to where the fish are at. Now I gotta break a limb and get to where I can clamp my GoPro on. I'm sitting here getting set up and Luke is down there a couple hundred yards and I hear him screaming he's got one. Luke has caught the first fish. I heard it, good job. Dad, will you change my bait? Somebody else has got one? Holy mackerel, what a big fish! Oh my goodness! She has got a monster on down there. Y'all, they are ripping lips right down the way and I ain't even had a bite. 
So I gotta run down there and show y'all. Look at that monster! She's got one on right now. No way. Let me see, where's he at? Holy moly! Wait, I wanna I got a scale. Look at that! I'm not letting him go. Pick him up, get him down there in the water so we can start to revive him. Hold that giant up. Look at that, two huge fish and two casts. Turn your sideways, Tara. I'm glad I'm on the girls' team, because look at what Jake's coming with. All right, let's turn. Oh, you want to weigh him? I want to see him. Luke, you can. What? How big was yours, Luke? About the same size. Uh. Let me do mama's first. Did you get a picture? Go ahead. Well, I can clearly see I need to get a worm on because that's what both of them just caught those fish on. Luke, you got another fish? Keep working, keep working. Don't eat fish. Oh my goodness. Luke. Come down here, Luke. Come down here. Come on. Reel, reel, reel. Keep reeling and come. Come on. Come on. I got it. Come on. Oh. He's... Get him up, Luke. You got him. Come on. Come on, you got him. Oh, Luke, this is your biggest one. Son! That thing, that thing pulled really hard. Yeah. Holy mackerel. Worth the fight. <sighs> Look at Good the fish job. we're catching in the first I two minutes. My knee right here. How does it get so any bad. better than this? Good job. Pick that bad boy up. Son. Good job. Ease him in the water nice and gently right here and turn it loose. Nice and gently. Wait, son, you got to turn it over a little bit. See you bye later. bye. I'm going down here. Nux. Boom. Dang. Jake, me and you got to step up our that game. That little dinky fish messed up my whole entire rig. <laughs> Dang. We've been here exactly five minutes. And we've already caught three big fish. Reel it in, Maverick. Reel it in. Maverick's got a huge one? What is it? Like the mother load of fish right there? Oh my gosh. They got another giant on. I got to go get him. Easy, easy, son. Nice and easy. Fish of a lifetime, right here, son. Fish of a lifetime. Oh my goodness. Nice and easy, Mav. Oh, I stepped in a hole. You got him, Mav. Nice and easy. Get him over here, son. I don't want to mess with it. He's, I don't want, oh. This. Look how big this fish is. Which boy? Maverick, that fish is as big as you. Oh, oh. Wow. Dang, Maverick. High five. Well, Matt, I'm ahead of you by one. This is the biggest fish of the day right here. You hold this, Dad? Yeah, don't step on that. Your phone in your pocket? Son, right here. Hold him up. Let me see him. Uh, it's in my pocket. Huge. Don't let him fall down, Oh, she got a scale right here. Look at Mama. How'd you guys hear it out, babe? Got it. 22 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Maverick, you just caught a 614. Woo! Hold it by his lips. Awesome. Nice and easy. Maverick, that was a giant. Loki, here, I'm going to help you. You're hung up? Yeah. All right, we're back on the move again. That was probably the most epic three minutes of bass fishing I've ever seen in my life. Everybody was catching giants. So now we're actually gonna pull down to where they normally fish and try to keep everybody a little bit calmer so I can show you guys how it is. But if you've ever fished before with kids and even adults, when they start biting, it's every man for themselves. This reservoir seems to be about five, 600 acres. And we just fished one little 25 foot section of it and caught six huge fish. So this should be a good day.
I'm coming. What'd you catch him on? Jump over here and come over here in the water and turn him loose. Look at that. Look at that big one. Hold him up. Giant. Turn him loose right here. Good job on the land. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. See you, buddy. He was right under that boat earlier and I threw my chopper right there and he just kind of, he was real skittish. Then he, then he got it. Well, I'm officially getting outfished by everybody. So I'm really blown away now. We just watched the craziest fury of big bass ever go down. And we haven't caught a fish since then. But what we do have, if you can see over my shoulder, is a crazy weather system pulling in right now. So we might be heading back to camp because we do have a 30 minute ride back and it looks like it's going to flood. And I don't want to get all these kids soaked because tomorrow morning we can come right back out here and fish. And I think the bite will actually be even better in the morning right at daylight fingers crossed we don't get soaked because that will be cold none of my kids have shirts or shoes or anything on you know how it goes that's florida one second it's sunny the other second it's raining we got a bad storm coming folks at home we got time to make one cast Big fish, big fish, finally. <laughs> oh, about time. Oh no. Oh, I thought it was hung up. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that bucket mouth. <laughs> Look at that giant right there, folks at home, folks at home. <sighs> Look at that. Heck yeah, I'm gonna get her turned back loose. See you later, big girl. Whew, I didn't get outfished. Oh boy, look at the dust storm. We got to go. We got to go. We definitely got to go. Woo! This is going to be one real storm right here. That's all dust? Yeah. yeah. You guys, look at that. Oh boy. Y'all, we got to go. Jake, sit down. It is nasty. And it's right there. Y'all, sit down. Put your seatbelts on. Let's roll. What about the rods? We left all of our rods there. We're going to come back and fish in the morning. That storm is dangerous right, right there. Woo! But what if there's rods get stuck on your butt? Look at the sandstorm. Hang on, boys! Yes! Oh! Woo! 
We made it just in time. Y'all look at the weather. The kids are freezing cold. We got to batten down the hatches because these things have had tornadoes in them lately. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this one doesn't because we're out here in this little camp and nothing is really secure. They just pulled in. It's about to get real, real quick. Someone just pulled up in the driveway. Gabe and the boys aren't supposed to be home until tomorrow, so this is kind of weird. <gasps> they came back early, I guess. What are y'all doing back? You don't even know. It's a little windy out here. The perfect storm. Look, just look at this. The perfect storm caught us. We were supposed to stay the night, too. I know. But I didn't feel safe. I was making a vlog. Look at that. Right there is where we were. And look what's coming. Mm. On a good note, you only have one set of laundry for all of us. <laughs> but on a bad note, that kid is as dirty right now as I've ever seen. He has sand <laughs> in places I didn't know sand could get. What what you looking for? Take him for? inside and show go show all him right. in the light what he looks Come like. Come on, Luke. I think it's probably time for a bath. I might only have one pair of clothes each boy to do, but I gotta put away all the clean clothes that they brought, so technically it doesn't really matter. Alright, let me see you, child. I just mopped the floors, so this should be fun. Turn around. In the light. Turn around. Let's see what you what you got going on here. Alright. Dirty pants. Probably is not gonna come out. Feet aren't looking too shabby. Oh, your face. Let me see your face. Hold on. <laughs> I just licked my finger. Boy, I think it's a time for a bath, huh? <laughs> Luke is so tired right now. Well, dang it, I wanted the house to myself tonight. Babe, I just licked my finger and wiped it across Luke's forehead. It was so dirty. Yeah, we're all dirty. Look at my salad. I was going to eat that for dinner. Yeah. Let me take a second though and tell you guys about Tiffly Safe, which is the home security system that we use to guard our house. It's literally, it's serious home security made simpler. Check that out. Pop the batteries out, charge them really easy, really quick. Put them right back up here on a magnet. Point it any way you want it to go. And just like when it just filmed us backing up, they make inside cameras, outside cameras, window alarms, fire alarms, and even more. But let's go inside so I can finish telling you about it. Can... Why is there so many boxes? I've been gone six hours. You are supposed to be home until tomorrow. Holy mackerel, y'all. So one of the other great advantages to Simply Safe is just like right now, we were leaving. Gonna be out of town. Kelly's gonna be here by herself. A lot of people can drive by and see that we have expensive boats, all kinds of stuff. So that might even cause more of a tension on our house. And with these cameras, nobody can sneak up on us because on my phone, while I'm sitting there turkey hunting or bass fishing, I get notifications as soon as those cameras are triggered. And when we get packages, we automatically see that they're here because everybody knows people steal packages. So it's a win-win. The whole situation was simply safe. When you sign up for a professional monitoring plan, Simply Safe will dispatch the police or firefighters in an emergency. Save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com slash bluegabe to learn more. You know, it was really bad that we didn't or we weren't able to keep bass fishing because that was some of the best bass fishing I've ever seen. But it might be meant to be because I bought Kelly this. Come over here and look at this awesome new bow I bought Kelly. I bought her this at Bass Pro the other day and I almost grabbed it today. But I'm like, the truck's already full of crap, so I don't want anything else. And as soon as we got to Travis's ranch, he took us to a culvert. Kelly, catfish, mudfish, gars, tilapia, cichlids by the hundreds all stuck in this puddle. We will definitely be taking this back there and doing some damage there. And we're also gonna go back when the weather's a little bit better and take hopefully the pro drive and put it in that reservoir. Right now though, we're gonna cook this beautiful mahi mahi that Kelly caught. Y'all watch a quick clip of her catching this big dolphin the other day, and then we're gonna cook it right here because we're all starving.
there's our fresh mahi right there. We actually cleaned it a few days ago. Caught it, I think, three days ago. But we're eating it tonight. Now, the boys just got picked up. They were actually supposed to be with their mom this weekend, but I was going to take them turkey hunting and bass fishing. And since we didn't stay, she came and grabbed them. So Kelly and I have a night to ourselves. And we're going to cook some amazing dolphin. All I did was add Lowry's garlic salt. There's a little bit of coconut oil, not milk, coconut oil in there. And we have something right here that's pretty cool that Kelly brought home today. What'd you call them? An oyster mushroom? Um, king oyster. Oyster. Oyster mushrooms. King oysters. And we're going to cook them with the fish. We're going to make it. I was going to trick y'all and say they were scallops, but I didn't want to do that now. I want to just, <laughs> I didn't want to say that they were scallops and then them taste bad. So we're going to cook them just like they're scallops and see how they turn out. And then the ends right here, I'm going to saute up and serve over this dish. You think I'm just cooking a very plain dish and I am, but I made a little concoction right here that is so amazingly good. Ginger, garlic, lime, peppers, and honey. So I'm actually gonna lay a mushroom in between each one. This particular pan holds most of the oil around the ring. I don't know if it's bent or messed up or what, but that's how she does it. We're gonna cook it just like the fish. I've never seen them before. Were they expensive? Um, not really. I mean, I paid 20 bucks for all those mushrooms I got, which is a lot of mushrooms. Oh, what was the place that she went to the Fort Pierce Farmer's Market today? Man, I cannot believe that storm ran us off. That fishing, which you already know, you already seen it. That fishing was insane. Like, we caught a bunch real quick. A bunch of big ones, and then I ended it with a huge one. Just gonna let this cook for three or four minutes, and we'll see y'all at the table. And I'll show you how it looks on the plate. I can tell you, if you were here to smell it, it smells really good. Y'all check that out. Tell me that doesn't look like a scallop. We could go vegan, babe. We could go they vegan. Make, they make um, vegan pulled pork with those mushrooms, too. Here's the key ingredient, though. This is where all the flavor comes in. Check out my little spoon. We got that from a, a gas station that sells ice cream. And we love these spoons, so we kept it. Such a simple, easy dish that with a little sauce will explode in your mouth. Like, it's perfect. Literally. Come on, babe, let's try it. Let's try it right here for everybody. You thought I was, you thought you were getting a night off, didn't you? I know, I was very excited to have the house to myself. <laughs> With no boys? But this dog keeps staring at me. That's girl. That's my old, oh, the memories I have with that hog dog. What about all the turkey pans? Is that normal for people to have a whole bunch of turkey feathers? And wings. Look at that. This is an Osceola. That's actually the boys' turkeys that they saw. Turkey fans. All right, is it cooled down enough to try it? Gotta find out. All right. Vegan scallop, aka mushroom, going first. Oh my gosh. That's probably the best thing I've ever eaten. Holy moly, those are good. Try it. I'm over here being a cameraman. They're a little hot. Oh my gosh. They're almost better than actual scallops. Yeah, this right here is just the tips of the mushroom that I cut up and put on top of the rice. Those are so good. Wow. All right, I guess I'll try the mahi now. All right. but do you think he knows you're eating one of his family members? He's looking at me eating mahi. 
Mahi's delicious. Moist, perfect, not overcooked. I feel like a lot of um, people who don't cook fish a lot overcook mahi. I don't know if it's just me, but I'll never forget I went to a restaurant once. <sighs> So well, for one, it's not very fresh at a restaurant. I know, but I'll just never forget that. So I will give a bunch of you guys that eat at restaurants some advice. When you see that fresh fish, typically it's not fresh. Most of the time, the fish that you get at a restaurant comes from somewhere a long ways from where you're at. It was caught on a boat, probably stayed on that boat for a few days, then taken to a fish market, sold. It stayed at that fish market for a while before it was then turned and sold to a restaurant, which then had to clean it, package it, refreeze it, or put it in the refrigerator, which it probably sat for a while. So a lot of times when you're eating fish at a restaurant and you see that fresh sign, fresh fish, nowhere even close. You really won't get to experience what fish tastes like until you catch it yourself or go on a boat or you actually buy it from a fisherman who comes in that day. Then you get to know what fish tastes like because it tastes totally different. And that's the same way with crab. Like if, if you like snow crab like we do, that's my favorite crab. I guarantee you if you ever went up to Alaska and ate it right off the boat, it would be a million times better. Ooh, that sauce though. It's almost better than a real scallop. I haven't tried that. I tried to fish first. Oh, it's so good. Has the same exact texture. Right? A oyster mushroom. Who would have known? A king oyster. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know she had them. I just walked in. I'm like, what do we have that we can cook? I'm starving. Now we're eating something incredibly good. King oyster. And then there's another word. It's like trumpet something. I forget. It'll be on the screen. Mmm. That storm though, when I, when I caught that last fish, or my only fish, and I looked up and saw that big storm coming, I knew it was gonna be bad. And we probably could have stayed and it might have stopped raining at some point tomorrow, but I know you guys follow along on the weather. The tornadoes that seem to be popping up all over the country, and I'm sure all over the world, they ain't been no joke lately. And we were out in the middle of a cow pasture in the middle of nowhere and I didn't want to get caught out there in any kind of a freak storm with the kids and being, we were 30 minutes from a paved road. So we left, we came home, we can go back and live to fight another day. Tomorrow I'm going to Jacksonville to bust a bunch of turkeys. Well, not a bunch. Actually, we're gonna bust a bunch because there's a couple of us. And then this weekend, the following weekend, today is sun, sat, Saturday. Monday I'm going to Jacksonville. Then Friday I'm taking the kids to do something fun. And we'll probably fish in between now and then. So y'all stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the positive comments. But like Jake always said, I gotta finish this mushroom. I just got a red pepper in my mouth. It's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.